Sea of Thieves Season 9 is right around the corner. A ton of new features have been revealed and we're going to go through them right now. First up for Season 9 is the Fort of Fortune. There's a brand new chest called the Chest of Fortune. This is now the most valuable piece of loot on the Sea of Thieves, worth 20,000 gold when you turn it in. Turning in this chest will unlock new commendations. These commendations will earn you parts of the new Fates of Fortune ship set. Additional items for the set will release in future seasons. Reapers and Reapers Bounty Chests are also getting a refresh too. Not only can you unlock new cosmetics by cashing them in, the beacons will now remain in the sky even after they've been picked up. Just like the chests used to do back when Arena actually worked. This should help make these chests more exciting again. The world events in Sea of Thieves are finally getting a rebalance. All events will now scale to the size of your crew, making it easier for solo players to complete them. Even the Ashen Winds, which is my favorite event to do. The Ghost Ship event is back now too, but without Flameheart's big head and even bigger mouth. Thank God. They're also increasing the chances of shipwrecks and the fog, which I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of seeing where I'm going anyway. You'll also be seeing an increase in Megalodons and Krakens. Yay! Now we can get Kraken three times per server instead of just once every server. Awesome. We're also getting some new Pirate Legend voyages. These include new Cursed Chest voyages. For those people that still need their crying chest and grog chest turnips. Another one of these new voyages will have you using a compass to track down a new skull called the Skull of Destiny. This new skull will have the ability to light all of the lights on the Fort of the Dam. It also acts just like a ritual skull to start up the Fort of the Dam. This is going to make the Fort of the Dam a lot easier to start up again, so we should see a lot more Fort of the Dams in Season 9. And that's awesome. These new Pirate Legend Voyages are also going to be purchased with doubloons. Finally, there's a use for doubloons again, other than turning them in for gold. And of course, we're going to get a brand new Plunder Pass. It actually looks pretty cool this season. The highlights include the Prosperous Privateer Clothing Set, and this chef's outfit with a spatula cutlass, Gilded Age Ship Parts, Pirate Legends can also earn the Bone Hunter Jacket and Spyglass. New Emissary Rewards include Emissary themed Fishing Rods and Tankards. So get ready to grind those leaderboards again. Premium Rewards this time around include the Sting Tide Ship Set, and variations of the Sting Tide costume. And of course, there'll be new Pirate Emporium items like the new Sea Serpent ship set, weapon set, and outfit. And you can also grab the new Lodestar ship's crest, the Gold Cursed Barbary Monkey, there's also the new Enigmatic Emote Bundle. Don't forget to pick up the new Hearing Things Emote for free. Probably my favorite improvement of Season 9 is no more Red Sea Runners. Now when a ship sails into the Red Sea and despawns with a bunch of loot, the loot's gonna respawn in the play area. It's about time. I've wanted this feature forever. There's also going to be a new food radial menu, so you can pick the specific food you want to eat. And we're finally getting seagulls above loot when you sink another ship. This is amazing for the solo sloopers. Harpoons are also getting an upgrade. When you harpoon loot out of the water, it's going to go directly onto the deck of your ship or onto the platform at the Sovereigns. Rare is also showing some love for all you hunters call grinders. They're finally adding a bait box, which you can buy from the merchants, or you can find it washed up on shore like other supplies. They're also adding a shortcut to the bait radial when you're fishing. 
We're also getting a nerf to mermaid statues and they'll be easier to destroy. They even have the chance to drop multiple gems, which is pretty cool. You will now be able to equip flags directly from the shipwright instead of climbing all the way up to the mast. Maybe now I'll start using flags. We're also getting a wider range of captain's voyages to choose from and the events from your session will be recorded in your logbook. We're also going to be able to sell hunter's call items to the sovereigns, but you'll get extra gold for selling with the sea posts or so choose wisely. There'll also be somebody to sell loot to at Steven Spoils again. They also said the chest of fortune is going to move around to different events each season, which should keep it fresh. And we're finally getting separate sliders for cannibal hits and music, which the community has been asking for for years. Good job, Rare. Season 9 launches in just over a week, and it brings about a lot of changes that we've wanted for a long time. I'll see you guys out there on the seas.